Top stories in your evening winding down the news week now. It is Friday, January 19th, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton with Rashid Essen, and we have the news that matters most. The Minister of Home Affairs informs that he is working closely with the chief fire officer to address concerns expressed by firefighters, which include busted equipment, which has forced them to use their own vehicles to respond to emergencies, they reported. Minister Otis Morris, in his comments, aimed to reassure residents that they are not at risk and that officers never have to use their own vehicles as first responders. I quote his statement in response to magnetic media questions after a firm public lashing by PDM Deputy Party Leader Robert Bain. The minister said, as it relates to the issue of the fire truck being out of service, I can acknowledge that we had experienced mechanical issues with the fire truck. However, it has been resolved and the truck in question is operational. The minister also said, I wish to clarify and dispel misinformation concerning the state of the domestic fire service on Providenciales. Otis Morris was responding on Wednesday evening. Magnetic Media has learned at least one visit has since been made to one of the domestic fire stations in an effort to remedy the situation. Many were listening for what the two brothers hired to take over management of the Providenciales landfill or wheel and dump would do to end the incessant unhealthy fires that break out at the 66-acre waste site. Delroy and Richard Gibbs, owners of TCI Green Ecological Corporation, who cemented the $2.9 million deal, said they have plans to fix it. Our company had already strategized the proper way of managing the fires that's on the landfill. So we will be providing that information to the environmental department, but I can assure you, once our company, TCI Green Ecological Ecological Corporation takes over the landfill, the fires will stop. A press conference was held on Thursday at the office of the Premier, where the Minister of Health and TCI Solid Waste Management lead announced the new contractors who begin work on March 5th. The Magnate is out. It's our e-newspaper, another magnetic media production. It's now time for your regional top stories. I'm Rashid Essen. The World Health Organization, WHO, is making huge efforts towards global health, launching on January 15th an appeal for $1.5 billion U.S. billion to protect the health of most of the vulnerable populations in 41 emergencies globally this year. In a release, the organization informs that the money will cover health emergencies that need the highest level of response, aiming to reach 87 million people. This is crucial as many will require health assistance this year, according to the WHO Director General. Trinidad and Tobago is seeing a resurgence in COVID-19 with five deaths in the past three weeks, nine hospitalized, and one in the ICU. This is a cause for concern, says Health Minister Terence Dayalsing, reports say. Prior to this, it had nearly been two months without reports of cases. Responding to this, Tobago has reinstated COVID protocols across all Tobago House of Assembly offices, buildings, and schools. A mentorship program for crime prevention is being launched in the Bahamas by local Reverend Scott Jupp, as announced by National Security Minister Wayne Monroe. He expressed he intends to attend the launch while pointing out that prevention is better than cure and is the duty of all Bahamians. This program, Monroe says, comes as Jupp felt the need to help prevent crime after he was held at gunpoint and had his vehicle taken. Father Jupp could have been bitter, could have sought retaliation, but what Father Jupp has done is to seek to begin a mentorship program for young people in St. Matthew's Parish. Monroe was speaking at the office of the Prime Minister's weekly press briefing on January 18th. Magnetic Media is your news leader. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such a wholesome variety of your favorite fresh foods. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such outstanding service. And there is simply nowhere else in the TCI to answer your every food craving in a chic, comfortable, centrally located store. That's a place you can trust. Number one is Graceway IGA. Fresh service trust for over 20 years. 
That's the sound of the North Caicos Stars, a junior junk canoe program that will represent the Turks and Caicos Islands at this year's junior junk canoe in the Bahamas. The all-male six-member group, formerly called Junk Canoe Boys, started playing while they were in primary school under the tutelage of Varlene Francis. With the help of Sinclair Musgrove, former district commissioner of North Caicos, they were booked at more and more events, including on governor's visits. Last year, their talent was recognized by Quinton Woodside. You may know him as a Bahamian junk canoe veteran, Barabbas. He has offered a week-long internship. That internship will culminate in participation at the Junior Junk Canoe Parade. The long list of sponsors who pulled together to get the boys into Nassau are commendable. They land on Sunday via British Airways. The Junior Junk Canoe is held on Bay Street in Nassau and carried live on television and online. It is set for a 6 p.m. start on Thursday, January 25th so you can watch it thank you for joining us for the news that matters most all week magnetic media is your news leader have a great weekend